Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. UNESCO has endorsed the four pillars of education, which are now being used in schools all over the world. The four pillars of education are described in detail in a book issued by UNESCO in 2006, titled Education for All, the Four Pillars of Education. We have learning to know, learning to do, learning to live together, and learning to be. First is learning to know. It should be kept in mind that this pillar serves as the base for all other pillars. It suggests improving one's focus, memory, ability to think, acquisition of the understanding tool, while also learning how to learn. It is essential for teachers to consider organizing student activities. Also, it enables teachers to view the lecture from students' point of view and maintains their active participation. Second is learning to do. This pillar emphasizes the growth of abilities and skills. It is crucial for people to be able to apply what they have learned. Only if they have acquired the appropriate skill set will this be possible. Yet, doing so is insufficient. Being inventive and creative is essential also. To apply the knowledge acquired to a variety of contexts, one needs to develop creative, critical, and holistic thinking skills. Third is learning to live together. You can do this through learning about other people's culture, histories, customs, spiritual beliefs, and awareness of interdependence. This pillar encourages a society's social harmony and stability. It emphasizes the significance of accepting people with tolerance, respect, and understanding. The last one is learning to be. This last pillar invites people to consider their own values, convictions, and sense of self. It relates to how your physical, intellectual, emotional, and ethical aspects come together to form the man you are. This relates to your total development as a person and as a contributing member of society.